Well, Democratic Governor nominee Lupe Valdez made another visit to Central Texas tonight, this time as a keynote speaker for the Organization of Hispanic Veterans Scholarship Banquet. Fox 44's Maribel Santiago joining us live now in the studio with Valdez's focus on education tonight. Well, tonight Valdez wanted to talk to scholarship recipients and their parents about quality public education. She says it's one of the reasons she's running for governor to ensure more students thrive in the classroom. I'm going to come and, and uh, rejoice with them and, and, uh, and celebrate with them. Tonight, Democratic Governor nominee Lupe Valdez met with 14 local scholarship candidates and their families. She wanted to talk to graduating seniors about her past and the importance of a good education. Education is an equalizer. Education is what made it possible for me. A, a good public education was what made it possible for me to come from the poorest zip code in San Antonio to now to be the candidate for governor. I mean, this is a long step, but it's all because of quality public education. Valdez is a daughter of migrant farm workers. She says her education is what allowed her to join the military and serve four terms as a Dallas County Sheriff. The everyday Texan is still struggling. We need good health care. We need public education. We need a living wage. We need all these things that are important to the everyday Texan. The 70 year old also talked about the price of higher education in Texas. A student shouldn't go to college and then spend the rest of their life paying for that education. We need to have opportunities and pathways for students to be able to get educated and, and become productive citizens. Valdez says her message to students tonight is to not give up in the classroom. I want to make sure that everybody has that same fighting chance. Now, another thing Valdez mentioned is getting more people at the polls. And at 9.30, tell her push how to get more voters ready for November. Live in studio, Maribel Santiago, Fox 44 News.